My name is Anthony. I'm born and raised in LA. So I was actually raised just down the street from USC and Koreatown. So I'm very just a bit city board, spent my whole life here. I ended up doing most of my schooling in LA and I went to UCLA for undergrad actually. So that was cool. And then after graduation, I decided to come work for USC here at the Community Oral Health Programs. And so that's currently what I do. I've been here for the past almost three years now. And I started off with a small grant program that was here at USC. And now I've moved into a position with the mobile dental clinic at USC as well. I didn't really find anything else that compared to what we were offering here at USC. Just the way that we operate, the programs that we run, it's very unique. And I think the, in particular, because of where I'm working at the USC mobile dental clinic, it's one of the biggest like mobile dental clinics in the world. And so I don't think that I could have found a better fit for me in terms of just the amount of community work that we put out. I think I might be a little different because I am only taking two classes a semester, but I spent about, I don't know, I'd say four to six hours on a class in between lectures, reviewing notes, writing the reflections, and then yeah, four to six usually, and then a little more when it gets closer to assignments. Quick class, I would say. Yeah. So yeah, since I'm taking two classes, four to six hours per week per class. So that translates to about eight to 15 hours a week. I think the my experience this past year with the program, I've received a lot of individual attention from the professors. Whenever I've reached out, they've always gotten back to me. If I did need any other support or really understanding of the situation, right? Because we all have lives outside of school. And I think that in terms of flexibility and just opportunity to continue our lives without too much interruption, this program is really unique in that aspect. It does provide a lot of support. The faculty are awesome and they do try to help us as much as they possibly can. I think coming into the program, I didn't have as much of an idea about what it would look like. I was really concerned that it, would, it was going to be too much. But luckily, the professors, they lay out what the expectations are going to be for the semester. So that makes it a lot easier. From my experience, if it, it's like a week to week breakdown on the syllabus of what's going to be offered, what the what assignments we have due and, and stuff like that. So it makes it a lot easier to plan ahead. And so in terms of managing my my, I guess the load that I have with family, with school, with work, it definitely has been a, a an effort to keep everything managed, but it is doable enough planning. I think the biggest skill that I've learned is how to integrate input from people that we're working with in the community to shape better programs for them. And in a lot of our lectures, we talk about the concepts like empathy mapping and integrating stakeholders into program design, right? And so that was something that I had been aware of before coming into the program, but professors like like Dr. Padilla and Dr. Vivian talk about these concepts more in depth. So that's something, that's a huge skill that I've gained. And as somebody that wants to go into like program management, program design, I think that those are key skills that I'm going to carry with me.